So going back into July, uh, the kids of Frick, the soccer camp review, um, it was pretty much kind of the same. Um, I'd say a little bit better since we had Christopher there working. Um, we'll have to review whether we will be inviting them to come back or not. They're already planning to come back. They already have dates for me. And I suggested that they hold off on dates because I wasn't ready to talk about soccer anytime soon because I hadn't even finished their soccer camp yet. So um, I think we will have to review that maybe in December because I think that's about when he'll start planning and wanting to start get to get the ball rolling. I think if that's when I remember. Jim, is that about right? Is when December, I think it was December is when I started planning. Yeah, you just need to plan a vacation and then he'll call me. <laughs> okay, I'll do that right now. Okay. Um, our fall soccer is exploding with the little kids. I registered another small little human being this morning. So I have... 53 uh, ages 3 through 5. I believe that's 99.9% .9 of all preschoolers are now playing soccer on Saturday mornings. So that's great. Um, I have enough help. I have some high schoolers and some middle schoolers coming in to help me on Saturdays. Um, I'm going to, I think I mentioned, I'm going to wrangle in uh, some of the boys as well, because um, the boys, John Filio also, you know, want the boys to be involved in helping out with the soccer program as well. So I have to talk to him. So we will have help with the littles on Saturday, which is great. Um, all the other teams are pretty abundant as well. First and second grade, there's almost enough for three teams. Um, I don't know what the coaches are deciding as far as splitting up the teams and letting them kind of do that. And then, so that's first and second grade, the Frontier League, and then grades three through six, three and four are also good numbers. And then sixth grade is struggle, come real struggle to even put one team together. So John has no subs. It's going to be a real tough year for for the sixth graders. Um, and then that kind of just like sums up where I'm at with that. Roots is all set. I worked through all of that. Massachusetts Youth Soccer Association, I'm good with them. They have all the information. They finally got back to me. Um, I'm meeting with some of the coaches tomorrow night at HES because I have to do uh, the pickleball courts tomorrow night, putting the, the lines down. I have to put the initial starting of the painting of the soccer fields tomorrow night. So everyone is kind of just coming to my central location so I can try to get a start on all the stuff that has to be done. Um, and that kind of leads me into my next two things, which one has changed Um so Hopkins JV soccer is using HES, which I knew about. As of today, I can't paint inside that field as of yet. So I have to hold off on getting that done until the 26th. Um, so I think I will have Ethan Wenner, who did the fields last year. I'll have him start on the little fields. Um, the older kids, little field. So that would be the seven V seven and nine V nine first and chip away at those because the first and second graders don't start until after Labor Day. I don't know if anyone has any thoughts on that, but I was going to start with the 11 V 11 because that, you know, is a little bit sooner, but with what's happening with the high school, I was told I can't go inside of that quite yet. So I'll just kind of go down my list. I'm looking up because I have all the dimensions on my whiteboard. Um, I don't know if anyone Why has any thoughts on that. Why couldn't you go inside of it quite yet? 
why couldn't you go inside of it yet? Why couldn't you start painting the other field? Because I found out today at the high school, they're renting a satellite paint line coordination machine, and they're coming to demo it on the 26th. So Jeff Mish wants and thinks it would be easier if he has the perimeter done right now. So when the guy and the company comes on the 26th, they can have like an almost perfect soccer field. And he thinks that it will be easier. Well, he actually doesn't want anything inside. And he thinks it'll be easier because the field will actually be as close to perfect as it can be because the machine does all the work. And then the upkeep is he just paint in the machine from here on out. And I asked if, jokingly, if he could just put in my dimensions while they had it up in the air and and bang out the five fields I need. And that's not happening. So I will see what Ethan says tomorrow night. And there's not really much I can do about that. So... I don't know what else. Because they poorly, they did the fields at their place poorly. Our kids have to wait until they're ready. Okay. All right. This, I guess that this, makes sense. Till this machine comes, I guess. I just was going to put Ethan on the biggest field because that takes the longest. So I figured if I put him at the biggest field and he could get that done and then chip away at the smaller ones. That would kind of make sense, but there's not much I can do. I don't think unless I go to, I don't know, higher, higher grounds and maybe have a talk about if they could help me out, but I'm not sure. It's up to. Do you technically need the field before then? No, but last year, um, it takes a while to get the dimensions down, or it took then a while to do the fields. So they have a scrimmage, which is not home, which is fine, but roots, I don't have the schedule yet for roots, so I'm not sure when their first home game is. I just know that if it's done sooner than later, it's a little bit easier because everyone just kind of seems to be happier when the fields are done. Okay. I mean, I don't mind waiting, but I also, Ethan, his schedule is tough because he, he works till like five o'clock at night. So he tries to come, you know, at night and do it for a couple hours and then comes like on a weekend and tries to do it like on a Sunday and finish it up. You know what I mean? And then once it's done, it's done, which is fine. And then I was planning on trying to do a parent rotation or a coach rotation this year. So I wasn't the one out there weekly or two times a week painting the fields myself. So I don't know if I could get permission from the both of you to ask for help on maintaining the fields. Absolutely. Because I don't know what was done in the past before I did it last year. Uh, I did it and then Greg did it. I did the initial setup. Like I painted the first couple of fields and Mm -hmm. then... If so Steve, Angelo, and I did the first field, and then we just did smaller fields, one smaller field inside and two smaller off to the side. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Greg would go once a week after uh, Tony mode and would touch it up. Okay. So, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I managed it pretty well. I just, the use of having another – you know, two teams using it and games and scrimmages and everything on it. It just puts a lot. It almost was to the point where I was having to do it twice a week. So 
Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just see how it goes and see what my schedule um, is like and then go from there. Yeah. Whatever you need to do to get it done, do it. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. Diane, do you have any objection to that? Not at all. No. Okay. I just don't, for me physically getting down there, I'm gone like the 3rd through the 15th and then the 21st through the 29th. So physically, I'm not sure how much I can be there. And I'm not sure about, uh, oh God, I forgot his name, our other commissioner. Commissioner Rob. number three, the new one. Yeah, I was like, I was going to call him Ron. And I'm like, it's not Rob. Okay. Um, How much he, with his lacrosse, how much he'll be able to get down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was so. hoping he was going to be on because uh, maybe he would have, I don't know, more ideas or something like that. But I'll I'll try to catch up with him at some point. Um, did he, did he say he couldn't make it? No. Because. I haven't heard anything. Oh, okay. Um, so in a roundabout way, soccer is, is going well. It should Everything should be wrapped up this week as far as – getting all the coaches set and rosters done and all that. Um, the numbers look really good. They're probably the best yet for the younger grades. Um, and hopefully they'll just continue to keep going up uh, when it comes to like third through sixth grade, which would be great. Um, the next part are things that I need to so, uh, gym to read. Meeting and I'll be there as soon as I can. It would be – since Christopher Rex has officially um, departed from the town, I had to put in a new hire job description with HR. So I attached that on, I think, both of the emails I sent. So they put together the job description of what a park and rec, I think they call it a park and rec attendant. Yeah, the park and rec attendant would be. Um, and it was suggested that this gets voted on through you and then presented in front of the select board. So if that needs be, I can do that, um, get myself on the agenda, depending on what you guys think about that. It's basically just an upscale job description of what Christopher has done for the last two years. Um, and that's about it. I mean, I don't see if that's what they're saying the process would be like, do we already have that amount in the budget anyways? So it sounds like a formality, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, like, think. So we I think I would hope so. Um, it actually would be less than what the wage would be different because it'd be minimum wage where Christopher right. was making a little bit more. So um, I can triple check on that. And if you two are okay with it and approve me getting help for yeah, say six bad. hours a week or mm -hmm. pickball or basketball, bad. then I would just double check and then I could get to the select board meeting and have them approve it. Okay. I'm good with that. Yep. I'll go with you. Okay. Yeah, and if I'm here, I certainly will too. Okay. Um, the next is the school department shared expenses. So because the fields were sharing everything again, um, I did talk with uh, Fred Siaglo and the business administrator in the finance department at the school department and asked if we could switch every other month on sharing expenses for the Sandy can because it's going to be highly used and they had no problem with that. So uh, I started paying the first month and then when the next month comes, I'll just submit it to the school department and they'll pay it and we'll just go back and forth. And that's what we did last year and it worked out fine. Um, and I think that was fair on everyone's end. Um, next was pickleball and basketball pricing. I didn't know, 
I know it's been uh, the same price for at least three years that I know of. I didn't know if you both wanted it to stay the same or you wanted a raise in the pricing at all before I start the new season. What's the current rate now? $5 for two hours. I mean, how do you feel that is in terms of other towns and competitive with them? It's everywhere that I've looked at or I've heard of is between five and seven dollars. Okay. Some places is seven dollars and you only get an hour. Oh. So I feel like we're we're kind of on the lower end, okay. but I also feel like seven dollars is probably a lot. So if we raise it a dollar, it's you know an extra twenty dollars a night and it, you know that adds up. It would add up, you know, five times is a hundred. So, um, I was just, that was something I was thinking of, you know, cause it's the start of something new. So obviously before I'm going to start it on the ninth will be pickleball and basketball will be on the 11th. Um, if we went to $6, what you guys thought of about that? I mean, I don't have a problem with that. What do you think? Jim? Neither do I, especially especially now that you have to pay somebody to be right. there. That's right. not a problem at all. I think that's justified. I mean, and a dollar is not a huge, it's not like saying it's 10. No. You know, it's a buck, you know? Yeah. And there's not anywhere else, there's not really a lot of places for basketball to go right now. No. Right. And I thought about it more because I think the last meeting I was swaying on thinking of two nights of pickleball and not basketball, but I really think the people that go to basketball really enjoy it because like you said, there is very few places to go. And I think since it's been reined in and everything has been worked out, I think um, it will be fine. So I think $6 is, you know, like pretty fair, I would okay. say. And if for some reason there's a huge upset or people are upset, we can revisit it and then I could always go back and change it. And at our next meeting, if or whatever. And are you gonna you're gonna make them pay online before they get there, right? Yeah, online or a lot of times some sometimes they bring a check and pay for that night or it they all do it differently. So Yeah. I just think like if you had to have Capriel or you be there with cash, it means we need to have like a more cash because instead of just having fives and tens, yeah, we now have to have too. ones and you know, all that stuff. So, um, and whenever you talk to it, it like say Capriel does do one of them, if mm -hmm. there's any problems, tell her not to hesitate to either call the police department or call me if there's any shenanigans like started last year. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, that's not something she's got to deal with. No. And I'll be there for the first, you know, for the first few until I talk to her and figure out, you know, who's, if she can do it and things like that. Yeah. Um, so I think maybe in the beginning, if we vote to or agree on the $6, I can just get a bunch of ones from petty cash and just have them there and it'll kind of just recycle itself pretty much. It won't be like I'd have to go to the bank a ton, I think, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, I think that would work out. Okay. I can put that. I mean, I'll just, I can keep track of how it's going and then go from there. If that's okay with the both of you. Absolutely. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, the town cell phone update that's still in the, I haven't heard much about that. Um, I did get approached by a member of the select board meeting and she said that she was working on, um, going through things with the town administrator and that's pretty much all the information I have. So I don't really have an update on that there is a select board meeting um, Wednesday night, and we also have a department head meeting on Thursday. And usually the chair, who is Molly Keegan, usually does come to those meetings. So I'm not sure if I'll get any more information 
there. Um, and I don't know if we want to further pursue any part of that or not. Absolutely. Okay. Do you have a certain way you want to pursue it or? Well, so when I talked to someone at town hall, they said if it was within our budget to do, then we should just do it. Um, but from what I got from the administrator was that there's a cell phone plan that the town has and all these other things. And she wasn't sure how expensive it was going to be. And, you know, there, there was a lot of reasons why not, but not many too. But at the same time, if we have it within our budget, within those, you know, I mean, let's figure out how much it's going to cost. If we just went there and got a cell phone with, you know, a small data package. Sorry, some kid just drilled my truck with his football helmet. Um, a small data package and, you know, unlimited really only, or whatever. Yeah, I really uh, only need, uh, you know, like text and phone abilities, like as basic, yeah. as basic as it would be as today comes. I don't know if you want me to go and get some pricing from Verizon or AT&T and then I can present it to you guys and see because that saves both of you time. It's It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I mean, you should just be able to go online and figure out what you need for minutes. And I think minutes and texting are unlimited at this point. Mm -hmm. And it's just the, the data package you need. And it's probably going to be you know, 60 bucks a month or something. So don't we have uh, five or $600 for trainings and publications or something like that? Uh, that's That's been dwindled a little bit. I'll look at the specific line item on that number, but I think it's in the $300 range. Everyone's okay. trainings and things like that got um, decreased. Okay. Well, we'll find it somewhere. Okay. So I can go online, get some pricing, and then I can email it to the both of you or all three of you, and then we can go from there. I, absolutely. But I, you know what I think we could do? I, I don't know if I want to suggest this, but I, I think the soccer camp next year, you know, we just made enough money to pay for it for this year. So if we had a soccer camp again next year, we could make enough money to pay for it the following year. I could call Chris and ask him if I could throw that in the deal. Okay. No, I mean, just what we make off the camp could pay for that. Two weeks for 50 other ones. It's fine. Whatever you want. <laughs> so, just an idea. Diane, anything? No, I mean, I don't have much insight to that. I've kind of just stuck to what I've had, you know, for plans forever. And I, but I've heard, you know, where people go in and get these deals, you know, and stuff. So yeah, if you look online, I think that's, okay. I agree, it's probably the best bet. Okay, I'll do that. And then I can Does, send you what I've Have they kind of lessened at all or what they're, after you I were think, like, asked them to? If, I like just for say uh, Verizon or AT and T. Like if you, it might even be worth looking into if they have like a municipal deal or a yeah. first new time customer. Sometimes they give you like a a brand new iPhone with unlimited this because you're a new customer. I I don't know because I've had my phone for so long. I haven't had to change it. So I mean, it's yeah. worth looking at you yeah. know i have both yeah. stores right here so i could sure. easily just go in and talk to someone okay. um yeah I'd without appreciate. committing to anything is what i'm saying just get some research first yeah. um so i will do that and then i will get back to you on that and um jim do you want to talk about the park and rec union position 
and maybe yeah so i i reached out and so long and short of this diane is that for whatever reason um amy was put in an in the union so in the event that we do have another part-time employee and she thinks that Amy is unreasonable and horrible and all these other things. You have people in the same union now fighting against each other. Um, nobody knows how she got in there, but it happened. Um, and what I was told was that uh, certain people signed off on it when they handed over to the select board. And the select board said, oh, okay. If this is what everybody agreed to, then this is what we'll do. And now we've got to wait shady. three years. It's very shady. And this is what I said was an end run around. Um, and, and I was sworn that it was not an end run around us. Because I, I forget what the wording was, but it, 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 it all just seems very convenient for the plan of attack that certain people wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And so now that she's in there, Roger, whoever Roger is, will not agree to go to the state and have her taken off the list. Will for not three years. He will, will not. not. And, but Roger is not our, I was going to, I think I put it in one of our texts. Don't we have an attorney? Yeah. <laughs> and so, so I had actually mentioned that to, um, the administrator that I could probably get Amy a free attorney because A, she never asked to be in there. Nobody yeah. ever ran it by us. Yep. Nobody ever talked to us. No. Nobody talked to her. She never signed up anything. Right. She was just put on a list and given to the select board. And it's by the people that, you know, basically want us gone anyways. Right. Yeah, that's so shady. I mean, I... and. And if Amy wanted this position, I would be 100% for it. But this is never something that she wanted and never right. something that she signed up for. And right. nobody ever ran it by, past the commissioners right. to see right. if it, what it's we not, thought. I think it's it's foul play, you know? I mean, it's... And I think that... Um, I don't know if it's the same lawyer, but I have his information. And we obviously had to use him years ago, um, you know, so we could ask for his guidance. Joel, I believe, is his name. I they've was got also... more lawyers than they've got days of the week because of yeah. all the different lawsuits they've got because right. they keep doing things like this. Right. It's funny. I was... We had to use them in a couple of years, so as things change a little here. Sorry. No, the only no. thing that I was told is that our one of the attorneys, Kate, would be in contact with me, and this was well over a month ago, to try to talk to the Department of Labor to try to get my position removed. And therefore, since I've never been contacted, and like Jim said, that now that the Department of Labor board has accepted it, it's like almost undoable at this point, my position, the position. So the yeah. park and rec director is a unionized position and I have to wait three years for my position to be removed. I, I found some stuff actually when we were texting back in 2021, because I don't delete much. <laughs> um, and yeah, Joel Baird is the name of the attorney. I don't, you know, I don't see why we can't talk to him if he's still the one. You know. So, Jim, I don't know if that's something like we had talked about. Um, do we go in front of the select board and start there and we could get on the agenda so, for the same those two two items, the job description I, and mine or. I reached out to that select board member that I told you I was going to, and they were on vacation and said that they would get back to me when they got back. And I think it's probably slipped their mind. So I will reach out tomorrow. Okay. And yeah, I think we should do a little digging before we yeah discuss it yeah. first okay. sure. before we do anything 
crazy. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not afraid to do anything crazy. No, I just don't want to. You know, if that's what it requires, that's what I'll do. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, I think it's absolutely out of line. I don't. I mean, I. I think they cut corners and approached it the wrong way. And if no one calls them on it, then they don't do anything about it, and they get away with it. Yep. Agreed. Simple. So I will make note of that, and then um, we can we can follow up whatever whatever road we have to take for that. And if I have to stay in for three years, then I have to stay in for three years. Well, you don't have to join the union, no. so it's not like it's going to cost you anything. No. But... The position will be there. Yeah. yeah. We might have um, to go check out something at Zaturka Park soon, I think. What'd you say? <laughs> I said we might have to go check out something at Zaturka Park. Sure. The pothole. <laughs> See how the plants are going? Yes. <laughs> See if Good our job. new trash can's there? Right. It is. That. It, it is. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I need to see it in person. Yes, it's lovely. Um, And last is, I don't know how we'll do this. <laughs> we have to vote on who is going to be the mm -hmm. chair. Oh, never, I know who it is going to be. The new guy. <laughs> <laughs> we never did that. And I, I, it kind of slipped my mind. And then they, the town directory came out and then I was just reminded that we have to have a chair and I was like, Oh sure. No problem. So we have to vote on a chair and then I will submit it tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Diane was just it before that it was Steve. So I'll do it this time and let Rob get his feet wet before he's it next. Okay. That Does that work easy. Diane? Yeah. And I think I'm still, um, I'm still on the, conservation i don't know if i've had to do anything at one point they were asking for a letter weren't they amy or something i don't know like saying for that i was appointed, uh, that i was appointed as the representative from park and rec oh i don't know i i can check yeah. with kayla i can i haven't heard anything from her but i can i can ask her tomorrow yeah it's um mary thayer was asking for that oh before. mary was Mary was asking for it. And I was like, I don't remember us ever doing a letter, but I think it was like a simple, like, you know, we've appointed her as the liaison or whatever it is, representative from Park huh. and Rec. Okay. I don't know. I will check. So I will submit that uh, tomorrow, Jim. Thank you for doing that. Thanks, Jim. Yep. And... That's kind of all I have. It's just been soccer. Yeah. And I had a quick meeting, nice meeting, and we're already talking about Halloween, which I'll say for the next meeting. But Halloween, um, we have some great ideas with some new parties joining forces, and it won't just be like one thing together. And I think it'll be a really fun thing. So that I've already put on for our next meetings agenda, which will be closer to that time. And I won't be drowning in soccer. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's I, laughing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I told you from day one, the only part, part, part of soccer season. Yeah. I know it's, it's wonderful because to hear that 99.9% .9 of all the littles are playing soccer is, is awesome because if they stay with it, it'll just like, it'll be awesome for sports, especially the girls sports. Cause those are the ones that are taking, you know, the huge hit right now. And then, uh, I mean, even the sixth grade, obviously the numbers are, they're just dropped off. So, um, everyone, everything else seems to be, seems to be good. Um, anything else? Not for me. No? No, ma'am. I guess just our next meeting date. And guess what? I just called you, Amy, for some oh, yeah. reason. I don't know why. But I was okay. looking at it, and I'm like, is one of them dialing, or is it me? And like, I looked down. Yeah, I hit it. <laughs> no so, words. Oh, God. So I, I don't know if I said it. The meeting, I think we should, do you want to pick a meeting date or no? 
if you if if both of you can sure and then i will see friend. if i can get a different contact um for rob because i don't know if his college email is just i don't i don't know his schedule so i don't know if he's just been missing everything that i've been sending because there's that's not a current thing that he checks all the time because it's yeah. not in school season so um i can follow up on that um, i did i did um about 15 minutes ago i texted him I okay know, but i and i assume he gets that and it said delivered but i don't know what that means you know like i don't if if you know I know some kids were going back to school now and if he's already in lacrosse season full tilt, mm -hmm. you know, maybe he's missing it, but. Okay. So let's see. But Jim, you, you have the football. Yeah. I'm where they're finishing up, uh, uh, warm ups right now. And I'm going to go teach them how to do punt and punt returns. I meant for like new for, um, our next meeting date too. Oh, I, yeah, so this will be the same thing. Uh, so I'll just, you know, you'll catch me in the car on the way to practice, and then I'll get out and go to practice after this is done. Is there a better day of the week, Jim? Because it doesn't matter to me. Um, Right now, no, because it's Monday through Thursday. September, I think we go Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So maybe Wednesday, if that works for anybody else. It's whatever. I can I can make whatever work. I mean, this is fine. It really is fine. So let's just keep it Monday at 530. I think that seems it's been working for us for a while. Okay. Does that work, Diane? A Monday at 530? I think Kara and me are back the 15th, which would work for the 16th. The 23rd, I might be gone. Or the 30th, if you want to go later. Um, I think the 30th would be better because okay. I'll have everything planned for halloween by then okay um and then i can run that by all of you and have um i'll be halfway through soccer already okay crazy that, that's all right. fine with me is that okay with you yeah so monday the, the 30th um at 5 30 And I'll put everything together and send you anything that I find and things that we discussed. And then, Jim, do you want, how soon would you like me to get on the agenda for, and you don't have to come to that meeting for the select board for that position if I have to get, if I have to present it. So you don't, I mean, I can do it myself, but if you want to, that's, it's up to, it's up to no, you. I don't, we wait a little bit so we can do the position, the cell phone. Okay. And the union all at one shot. Okay. Fine with me. You know what I mean? Just yep. so we can get all our ducks in a row before we go in, in front of them. Yes. Sounds good to all me. Right. Uh, so motion to end the meeting at 613. Seconded. In favor. Thank you all.